when we get to the clean and press, the snatch, and the clean and jerk, there's two things you always have to make sure you think about. First is make sure you have what we call the muscle beach position. Make sure you're you're standing like a in that great movie Sandlot when the, 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 uh, the lifeguard walks by and all the boys get like this. And the second thing I want you to think about is staying tall. Lifting your chin up to the sky is not staying tall. Driving the top of your head to the ceiling is staying tall. These two things tie right in to one of the most important things you have to learn right in the beginning of Olympic lifts, where you put your hands on the bar. It's a very simple system that I use. First, I'm going to stand tall here and just get myself in the position that I'll use for the clean. I'm going to basically have my thumbs touching my thighs like that. That's the position I want to clean the bar. So I'm going to go down here, stand up, check to see if I'm in that position, and now that's going to be my clean grip in all the clean exercises. For the snatch grip, I want to think about the bar being on my belt. Now, if you're taller than six feet, really about 5'10", you're going to find you're going to have to go collar to collar. But if you're shorter than 5'10", you want to be basically where the barbell is touching your belt buckle. The first concept I use in teaching the clean and jerk, the snatch, and the clean and press is the word slide. You're going to start in that position where you had the barbell earlier when I said stand tall with the correct grip. Very simply, I'll use the snatch as an example. I'm going to stand here like this. And what I want to do is, pushing my chin forward, I want to slide the bar down my thighs. That's simply what I'm going to do. But the key is this. I'm not sliding necessarily the barbell down. I'm sliding by pushing my butt back. So this is called slide. I'll show you with the clean now. slide. And what I'm trying to do is really get my hamstrings to stretch. Let me show you from the side. The muscle beach, chin forward, chin forward, slide. I feel my hamstrings now. I can wiggle my toes a little. And now I'm about ready to learn to do the lifts. If there's a key in teaching the clean and press, the snatch, and the clean and jerk, is a transition movement we call up. When I'm coaching large groups of people lifting at once, this is the key. Now, the barbell, as you can see, is on the ground there. And the reason it's on the ground there is that's the metallurgy from the 1930s, having them decide to put the barbell there. When I work with people over 5'10", we often do much of our work here, which is in the, called sometimes the hang position. So the transition in the Olympic lifts, the clean and snatch, the transition in the Olympic lifts that's so important is this position here where I go from basically an inch below the knee, pushing my heels into the ground to an inch above the knee. And that's going to be true in both the snatch and the clean. The only difference you'll see is my hands. If my hands are here in the clean and my hands are here in the snatch, I may have to shift my hips back more in the snatch. So let's look at what up is in the clean. The standing position, slide, and then what I'm going to try to do here is transition to up. I'm going to push my heels into the ground and try not to lose very much. Let's review that again. Up. That's it. And the key to Olympic lifting is having the patience to wait through the up movement. The Olympic lifts are two or three, if you include the clean and press, of the most dynamic movements you can do in sports. And the key is a very dynamic hit when you get past the up position. We use the phrase jump. So if we're just doing, when I'm demonstrating or teaching a large group, we start from the stand tall position, we slide, we go up, and then we jump. From there, we go on to the other movements. But let me demonstrate it with the snatch very quickly. Wide grip, because it's a snatch. Stand tall, basically the barbell's on my belt buckle. And now I'm going to slide. 
I'm going to go down a little bit more so I can come up. Up, three, two, one, jump. And that's what a snatch is. Whenever you do ballistics, especially ballistics overhead, you can't think through the movement. But you can hear the movement. And one of the things I like to tell my athletes is when you're doing these ballistic overhead work, like the jerk, use your ears as your coach. So there's two terms we're going to be using. The first is dip. I like to think of, in fact, with some young athletes, I have them bring their heels together so that they can't lean forward when they go into dip. If you've been around, you can get away with a little bit wider grip. So it's going to be dip. That dip is going to provide the drive. But what you're doing now is trying to hear the front foot hit. Dip, stop. Dip, stop. And that's the secret to the jerk. For most people, the snatch is actually much easier to teach, even though most of us use the clean more often in training. The snatch is the movement where you take the bar from the floor or the hang overhead in one movement. The clean is where you take the bar from the floor or the hang here to the chest. But there's a problem here, the wrists. Many people struggle with front squats and cleans because the wrists hurt. Now, <laughs> traditionally we deal with this by doing wrist flexibility work, which has its value. Uh, I always tell people, you don't just stretch the wrist this way, you also want to make sure you stretch the wrist this way too. And Mike Brown, my friend, always assists on stretching it this way and this way. Wrist flexibility gets you only so far. Correct technique takes over. What you're not doing is bringing the bar, you're not deadlifting and then reverse curling the bar. You're going to jump underneath the bar so that when you catch it, you're coming into the bar. And that'll make your wrists not get hurt. Let me demonstrate. We'll begin in a standing tall position. Slide. Up, three, two, one, jump. And that is how you save your wrists from hurting. You're not bringing it here ah, and then cut it. You're jumping under the bar. One of the most common questions that I get is, well, it's what kind of snatch or what kind of clean should I do? Most people know, well, and you can break it down even more. But basically, we have two versions of the finish of the snatch and the clean. Let me show you the first one. It's called sometimes the power snatch, which most people would think of as something like this. Stand tall, slide up, jump. I'm catching it as high as I can. But there comes a point, as you can see, I had to pull that bar all the way to here. Well, when the loads get over 300 pounds, well, good luck doing that. So to make it easier for competitive lifters, we do what's called the squat snatch. Now, there's great value for every athlete to learn the squat clean and the squat snatch. What you get out of it in flexibility, mobility, and basic understanding of how the human body works, it's worth your time. Let me demonstrate right now. So. Slide, up, jump. It's that simple. Generally, I teach the Olympic lifts for the past 20, 25 years from the hang position. Now, there's a good reason for that, but there's also a good reason to learn them from the floor. The reason I teach them from the hang so much is one of the things I've noticed in my coaching career, when I first coached, when I talk to my athletes, I spent my time looking like this. Nowadays, I spend my time looking like this. My athletes are getting taller and bigger by the year. The barbell stays right where it is on the floor. So for me, the hang is the way I train most athletes. However, if they want to compete or they just want to lift weights off the floor, I teach them a very simple method. In, a, in another video, we talk about the trap bar deadlift. And the exact same kind of question is going to arise there. So look at both. If the bar is on the floor, the first thing I want to do is grip the bar. But here's the key. 
I don't want to jerk the bar off the floor. I want to drive my heels into the ground. And really the best way I've ever heard the, the description of the first pull is it's a leg press. I don't want the angle of my back to change at all. So all I'm doing is driving my heels into the ground until I feel the patella rub. So in the clean, heels, 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 up, jump. If you're going to decide to do a squat clean, heels, 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 up, jump. 